हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम्स टू कुबेज एजुकेशनल क्लासेस एंड आई एम हियर मिसेस पडवळकर ए आर एंड माय सब्जेक्ट इज जॉमेट्री सो टुडे आय विल टेक द क्लास ऑफ स्टँडर्ड नाईन्थ एंड टुडेज टॉपिक इज कोऑर्डिनेट जॉमेट्री सो दिस टॉपिक इज टोटली न्यू दिस इयर फॉर यू एंड इन दिस टॉपिक वी आर गोईंग टू स्टडी दिस पॉईंट्स so here we are going to study what do you mean by axis origin and quadrant which are totally new for you this year okay and then next we are going to see how to find or how to tell the coordinates of the points in a given plane and if one plane is given to you then how to plot the points so these two points we today we are going to see in this video and in this topic you are going to learn the lines which are parallel to x axis and y axis and how to write their equations okay so only these four topics are there for 9th standard which we are going to learn here so let us start now so let us uh, uh, know what is the meaning of the word coordinate geometry here so here see some friend uh, means there is some children are there so they are playing here so we can say that these are the friend of chintu and he is a chintu right so when they were playing a visitor arrived here and this visitor he is asking to chintu hey chintu where datta bau lives here doesn't he then chintu replies yes on the second floor see that window that is his flat mean just by pointing with his hand he is saying that datta bau is living on the second floor okay now see here 1 2 3 3 floors are there so here somewhere datta bau is staying here this much we can understand here right but what he say see that window see that window that window means which because here if we see on second floor there are five windows are there so out of five which window is of datta bau we cannot understand right here then then chintu then chintu replies that his window is the third one from the left on the second floor he tells like that see what he told his window is third from the left so if you see from the left 1 2 3 so this will be the third one yes and on second floor he told so second floor is this only correct so then we can understand that this is the window of the uh, the datta bau here and then we can understand that this is the home of that datta bau then children here you might have understood so to point out or to tell the location of a particular thing or uh, now here a location of house we have to use some ordinal numbers even we have to uh, use the direction also that is from left or from right here right means we could give the location of this datta bau's house using two ordinal number that is the c now he told the second floor so second is ordinal number so here when there are more than one uh, floors are there or any objects are there then we say first second third fourth right so in this way we can describe the and similarly the location of this point can be fully described by some, using some distances uh, between the two mutually perpendicular lines here and to describe you more i will take one coordinate system here then you will understand actually what is the co meaning of coordinate system so here i have taken one uh, graph page now see you may think why i have chosen the graph page only because if you observe on this graph paper here certain lines some horizontal lines are there and certain vertical lines are also there so if you observe each and every horizontal line and vertical line they are exactly perpendicular to each other and which are the darkened lines here they are so they are parallel to each other even vertical lines also and horizontal lines also here see so they are perpendicular each other 
means wherever if we uh, take the point so its exact location we can tell with the help of this graph page here okay so to explain the coordinate geometry or co uh, we have to use graph page here and see on this graph page i have taken one line and on this line i have taken certain points here okay certain numbers here so only this line is called as a number line you know this one uh, so this is a horizontal number line i have taken and then i have taken one vertical number line also and if you observe this both lines are perpendicular to each other okay so that is the lines which make 90 degree angle so that we call that they are perpendicular to each other okay and see uh, these both lines are meeting each other or intersecting each other at this point and this point we have uh, noted it as a o here and then we can call this as a origin of this coordinate system means on this page now see i have taken one horizontal number line i have taken one vertical number line both are perpendicular to each other they meet at o so to this o we call it as a origin but see children due to this two line this full page get divided into four parts here right yes so these are four parts these number lines so all these including we can call it as a coordinate system here then see here whatever now you cannot call this as a only number line here so whatever this horizontal number line is there so for this we can call it as a x axis here okay and whatever this uh, vertical line is there so to that we can call it as a y axis here right and as these both axes are meeting at point o so that is at the origin here so this x axis is get divided into two part so one part remains in the left side and one part to the right side here okay and here see uh, in this part all the numbers are positive and all the numbers here are negative so you can call it as a positive uh, part of the x axis and this is a positive uh, this one this is a negative part of x axis same way y axis also get divided into two part here so this above part is a positive y axis and the uh, below uh, this below part is negative y axis why because here all coordinates are negative here also negative okay so see as these both lines are meeting that both axes are meeting each other so these both axes are got divided into four part yes so positive x axis negative x axis positive y axis and negative y axis okay now so number lines got divided but due to these number lines also this page also got divided into four part i told yes so this each part is known as quadrant what we have to call it as a quadrant see so this here also same i have taken here is one x axis here is one axis so this part is called as a quadrant this part you can call it as a second quadrant okay so see this is the first quadrant this is the second quadrant this is the third quadrant this is the fourth quadrant then you may say now i will call this as a first second third fourth no so when you are studying the coordinate system then you should go anti clockwise this is a clockwise correct but now from this uh, quadrant you should go anti clockwise so this will be the first quadrant this will be the second quadrant this will be the third quadrant and this will be the fourth quadrant understood so in this way when two number lines intersect each other so whatever this four parts are forming so to them we have to call it as a quadrant okay the next uh, uh, part i want to tell is that what i told these axes are nothing but number line i told right why number line because on this line certain numbers we have taken see 
सो हियर पॉजिटिव नंबर हियर निगेटिव नंबर हियर पॉजिटिव हियर निगेटिव ओके सो सी विच पॉइंट विच नंबर्स आर लाइंग ऑन द एक्स एक्सिस सो दे आर कॉल्ड एज एफ सी सा दैट इज एक्स कोऑर्डिनेट इन अ सिंपल वे यू कैन कॉल इट एज अ एक्स कोऑर्डिनेट ओके एंड वॉट एवर द पॉइंट आर प्रेजेंट ऑन वाय एक्सिस सो दे आर कॉल्ड जस्ट एज अ ऑर्डिनेट ओके सो एफ सी सा means a number which lies on x axis that is in short we can call x coordinate the number which are lying on x axis they are x coordinate or abscissa and the numbers which are lying on y axis so they are called y coordinate or just call them as a ordinate understood remember this is this is very important point here so which numbers are lying on x axis they are abscissa and which number lie on y axis they are ordinate or in other way number lies on x axis so x coordinate number lying on y axis so they are y coordinate understood here okay the next point what we have to study here i will tell you see this is a very important figure okay now see leaving this axis part whatever this portion is there see where my pointer is moving so this full region is a first quadrant right so suppose here if we take any point here then how to find that numbers uh, coordinate okay so that i am going to tell you here so here we will take this system only here uh, just see here suppose now i will take one point here so here i have taken one point okay and this point i have taken as a a point here now i want to write the coordinates of this point a then each point will have two coordinate because it is related to now x axis and y axis so see children whenever you want to write the coordinate of any point you should write always first abscissa that is you should write always x coordinate first and then y coordinate okay then see how to write so just write from this point just come down straight way that is you have to draw actually a, a perpendicular on x axis so from this point if you draw a perpendicular it meet here exactly right and where it is meeting there see which number is there 2 yes this means the x coordinate of this point a is 2 so write here 2 then same way from this point just draw one perpendicular on y axis also so where it meet at it meet at uh, number 3 here so this 3 is nothing but the ordinate that is x uh, sorry y coordinate of this point a is 3 okay means in this way we uh, we found c the coordinates of this point a here we have located right so we got it as a plus 2 and plus 3 here right means see we got both plus plus only so suppose if i take here one point okay i will take here one point it is exactly lying here see then from here this point draw the one uh, perpendicular on x axis which point i get here one and just go on y axis which we get one only and both are plus only so here the coordinate of this points you will get plus one plus one right okay means here also we uh, x coordinate and y coordinate we both we got plus plus only c means see children from this what conclusion we can make if any point means if it is lying anywhere in the first quadrant here so its both coordinates are always positive only where also you take in this quadrant if you take here here or here somewhere here you take or here you take and just see its coordinate coordinates will change but they all will be always 
positive only x will also positive and y coordinate will also positive okay now we'll try in second quadrant here so this is our second quadrant right so suppose if i take here one point now okay and now from this point now suppose this is the point b and now from this what i will do i will draw a perpendicular on on x axis okay so on x axis if i draw one perpendicular here and same way on y axis also i will draw a perpendicular here so which point i got on x axis a number i got minus 3 and which number i got on y axis i got plus 2 okay same way now suppose if i take one point here right okay then on this if i draw one perpendicular on x axis and from this if i draw a perpendicular on y axis so which point i will get here see minus 2 and plus 3 right suppose this point is c here so see i have taken two different points in second quadrant and i got its coordinate minus 3 plus 2 here minus 2 plus 3 so you can check here now suppose if i take one point here uh, you, i'll show you here then from here if you go down uh, i can draw here see one minute uh, i will show you so you, here you will get see anywhere if you take the point suppose i am taking here so from here go on uh, x axis you will get here minus 5 because it is extending minus 5 and from here if you go you will get plus 3 means again minus and plus you get see means in second quadrant where also if you take the point then its x coordinate always come negative and its y coordinate always comes positive okay means uh, in first quadrant both are plus plus right like that in second quadrant x abscissa is negative and ordinate is always positive so same way if you come here and if you choose here any point now suppose if i take here one point uh, one minute okay so suppose if i take here so minus 3 and from here also on y if i draw the perpendicular so what i got c minus 3 and minus 4 remember children whenever we write the coordinate we must write x coordinate only first and then y coordinate okay so here i got both negative so you choose here also here if i take so here also i will get x coordinate minus 1 and y coordinate plus uh, sorry minus 1 only means both axis uh, both coordinates i will get negative only so you check here in third quadrant which also you point a. suppose if you take here one point so see from here go on x axis you will get minus 4 from here go on y axis you will get minus 2 means both coordinates again you got negative only see so in this way if you uh, take any point in third quadrant so its both coordinates are always negative remember this one and same way uh, if you check in fourth quadrant then you will get x coordinate always plus and y coordinate always minus you will get okay so in this way this is also the hint to remember here so this figure you can understand means you will understand better way see here this one so first quadrant both coordinate of any point here are always positive in second coordinate so abscissa that is x coordinate is always negative you take anywhere here any point so here is x coordinate is always negative and uh, y coordinate you will get always positive if you come in third quadrant then both coordinate you will get minus minus means negative and in fourth quadrant again abscissa you will get positive 
and uh, ordinate you will get negative remember this is very important figure here okay so this one point is there so main thing is what see if certain point is given in a coordinate system how to uh, know is coordinate that also i have covered here so for example in this figure also i can show suppose one point is here suppose here and now point p and uh, you are asked write the coordinate of point p then how you will write children so from this point p you have to draw a perpendicular on x and from p you have to draw a perpendicular on y every time you have to do the same okay here see we have drawn so here i got plus 5 and here i got minus 3 right then if i write minus 3 and 5 i will be wrong why x coordinate always we have to write first so coordinates will be 5 u and here i will write because here no place is there so i can write here so here the coordinates of point p are plus 5 u and minus 3 here yes so plus abscissa is always plus and ordinate is always minus so in this way see uh, what we have seen that do, uh, when two number lines horizontal and vertical line they meet each other then the whole uh, plane actually it is a plane get divided into four part and each part we call it as a quadrant here first quadrant second quadrant third quadrant fourth quadrant see the rotation must be anti clock only and this must be only the first second third fourth you cannot start from anywhere means first second third fourth no it's not allowed or in this way not allowed so you should start from this way so first second third fourth the next point what we have seen how to know the coordinate of the given point okay and then uh, this figure we have seen how to find their uh, coordinates are positive or negative that also we have seen so it is a very symbolic figure you just observe this also okay plus plus minus plus minus minus plus minus right so in this way this we have seen now next uh, what we are going to see here see this is also the symbolic figure only first quadrant second quadrant third quadrant fourth quadrant okay now we have to plot suppose certain points are given to you and you have to plot it so how to plot it so first i will take some points here suppose there is one point p and its coordinates are 3 and minus 2 right then q q suppose 4 and 2 and uh, suppose one point i have taken r it is z Minus one, minus one, and one point I will take. Suppose point yes, okay, and its coordinates are minus three and plus one, like this four coordinate I have taken. Then you have to take the graph page, draw the x-axis, draw y-axis, and here see at uh, here see these distances are equal, correct? then you can mark here the numbers so here it will be plus 1 plus 2 3 4 here minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 minus 4 uh, same way on x axis uh, sorry on y axis also 1 2 3 4 5 it will go on continue then here minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 yes and minus 4 here okay now first point is 3 and minus 2 so see immediately you should understand now just now i have explained see this that symbolic figure here the sim uh, that is sign of this points are plus minus so where we get plus minus see here in the fourth quadrant plus minus means definitely point p will lie in fourth quadrant right so we have to plot it now so x that is abscissa is 3 means it will come here and ordinate is minus 2 means it will come here okay so just go on extend till both meet okay 
so plus 3 i will just go on drawing this perpendicular and minus 2 also so they are meeting here see so where they both are meeting there is exact position of point p so you write this p and write immediately the coordinate also 3 and minus 2 okay same way now you can plot point q now see point q's both coordinates are positive plus plus where it is here means this point will lie in first quadrant this much we know now so exact position is where x coordinate that is fcs is 4 here and ordinate y coordinate is 2 here right so this and this where they are meeting here so that also you should show here like this and here like this see okay so that point will lie here which one q and write the coordinates so 4 and 2 always x coordinate you should write first only and then y coordinate okay so in this way you can plot the point r also r c minus 1 minus 1 both coordinates are negative so minus minus means third quadrant means definitely here somewhere this point r will lie so fcc is minus 1 here and ordinate is minus 1. So, both will meet here C. Correct? So, here you will get the position of this point R. Okay? And same way you can take point S also. So, point S is minus 3 and 1. That is minus plus. So, minus plus is here. Means this point S will lie definitely in second quadrant here. So, FCC is minus 3. Where is minus 3? Here. Where is plus 1? Here. So, they both will meet here. C. Okay. And here you can then write yes and write down the coordinate in bracket. Minus 3 and plus 1. Okay. Means I have explained you how to plot the points. Given point. Okay, children. So, in this way, some basic information I have told you. Now, observe this figure. Here, one uh, coordinate system is given. And in that system, some points are already plotted. See, now these points are plotted and uh, the position is also given. See, so just see. Now, if I uh, give them name, here P, here Q, here R. And here this point is O here. Okay. So also by observing the figure also you can tell. Where point P is lying. If I ask you can tell that point P is lying in the first quadrant here. Where point Q lies in second quadrant. Where point R lies in third quadrant. Where point uh, O is lying. Where it is at the origin because it is not lying in any quadrant here okay so suppose if i take certain points and now you have to tell me their positions here okay so now here one point uh, p i will take okay and it has certain coordinates mm, and uh, point r is here Point S is here. M point is here. O is here. And Q is here. Okay. So, if I ask where does point P lies? Okay. Then whether it is lying in first quadrant or it here it is. Then whether it is lying in second quadrant, there will be a dilemma. But see, there is no any confusion. Because point P exactly lying on this x-axis C. Right? This is our x-axis. So, you should say that point P lies on x-axis. And more clearly, if you want to tell, P point is lying on positive x-axis. Right? And if you are asked where point Q lies on negative y x-axis. 
where point s is lying on positive y axis and here on negative y or just say on y axis on or on x axis like this and where point r lying it is lying in second quadrant right in this way you can tell the position of the point here now suppose just without drawing the uh, graph if you want to tell the position of certain point where it will lie so that uh, example also i am going to take you so here first one question is there see we'll solve this question what is this question on one graph paper you have to plot this point they told see and then you have to join these points join ab and bc then what figure is forming they have asked you so first see a is 3 and 0 okay this point we have to plot a 3 0 so means x coordinate is 3 plus 3 where we get on x coordinate here and 0 So zero on y means here. See on y axis. This is a y axis. Zero you will get. So where both point will meet? Here only they will meet. Okay. So before solving this one point, I will clear. See. Ah, uh, means suppose now you want to ah uh, plot certain points whose coordinates are. I will tell you zero and five. Ah, uh, two and zero. Where these points will lie, we want to know. Then see, x coordinate is zero. Means on x axis zero will be here, and on y coordinate five. Means here somewhere that point will be there on y axis. Correct? One, two, three. If we count, so suppose five is here. Then we, uh, actually how we plot where both positions are meeting? There we are plotting or no? Means see, uh, suppose if you are asked a point A, plot this point two, three. Then on x axis two is here, and on y axis three is here. Then how we do this? We extend till they meet here, right? But in this case, see now zero five on x axis zero is here, and on y axis here. So where they will meet? So if you start, so we have to suppose that here they will meet at five because we should not take at the origin here. So that point will lie. Where is the five uh, called ordinate is there here? So suppose here five na is there. So here the position of this your point, okay? This point will lie here. And two zero now. So two zero means on x axis two. So on x axis two is here, and on y axis zero. On y axis where is zero here? So where this both point will meet? So they will meet here. so the position of this point will be on x axis then from this c very important conclusion i am going to tell you now if you want to plot one point whose x coordinate if it is 0 then that point definitely will lie on y axis only remember a point if its x coordinate is 0 then it will lie on y axis and the point whose y coordinate is 0 then definitely it will lie on x axis remember if x coordinate is 0 it will lie on y if y coordinate is 0 it will lie on x okay this much you remember and now we are going to solve this question here see so first point which one a 3 0 c this point we have to plot it So on x axis three is here, and on y axis zero. So it will be here. So both point will meet here. See. So the position of point A will be here. So how uh, it is written? See A in bracket three zero. So we got the point A. Same way now take point B. It is three three C. Yes, in question. So on x axis three and on y also three. So on x axis three is here and on y is here. So the position of B we will get here. Now next point is C is zero and three. C zero and three. X coordinate is zero. Means this C point definite it will lie on y axis. Okay. So on x zero and on y three means here C. So C will lie here. Okay. So these three points we have to join now. 
what they told first join ab and then bc so here ab we have join then bc also we have join then see between a and b one two three unit distance we got see between o and a one two three unit here also one two three here also one two three means everywhere three three unit distance we got so here we got one quadrilateral or no but uh, each side is of three three unit means it must be a which type of the square yes it is a square that figure they asked now what is the figure form so it is square we get here square okay so in this way we have seen how to plot the point or if the points are ready made how to tell their coordinate that also we have seen here okay again one question is there see what draw the coordinate system on a plane and plot the following point these points we have to plot it so some points i will tell you so here is your answer you just take the page graph page then at the center you draw this x axis this number line uh, horizontal one and this vertical number line that is y axis you draw mark these numbers here correct now take first point minus 2 plus 4 minus plus abscis or minus ordinate plus where we get second coordinate second quadrant yes here somewhere it will lie so on x axis minus 2 here we have see and on y axis plus 4 here we have see so minus 2 plus 4 so if you extend they will meet here so here is the position of point l right same way m 5 6 both are positive see plus plus means it must lie in first quadrant right so where is plus 5 on x axis here and where is uh, 6 on y here where both will meet if we extend they will meet here so this is the position of point m here so same way you have to plot all this now here see yes 7 0 see now x y coordinate is 0 means yes will lie where it will lie on x axis on x axis where is the seven number so on x axis seven is here and y zero means both will meet here so here is yes here see t point x coordinate is zero see means t will re, uh, lie on y where is the minus five here so here point this t will lie see here zero five okay so in this way you can plot the points here right so in this way today i have told you coordinate system means what and uh, what do you mean by x axis y axis uh, what are the quadrants which parts we have to call it as a quadrant then how to plot the points yes some symbolic figures also i have shown you here first quadrant second third fourth quadrant here then in first quadrant what will be the signs of the point plus plus here minus plus here minus minus plus minus okay so in this way some uh, important basic points related to coordinate system i have told you okay thank you